ಯಮಾದೇವರೋಕಶ್ಚರಾಚರ ನಮೂಪೇದೇನ ಭಗವ್ಯಚಕುತ ಯಥಾಶಿಶೋಘ್ನೆ ಸಭಿಥೂರ್ಗಭಾಸ್ತೆಯೋಯಂತಿ ಸಂಯಂತ ಸಕೃತ್ ಸ್ವಗೌಕ್ಷಿಸ ಯಥಾತ ಯಂ ಕುನ ಸಂಪ್ರಭು ಊಧೇನು ಮನ ಖಾನಿ ಶರೀರ ಸಗಃ ಸಭಾಯ ನ ದೇವಾಸುರ ಮಚಿಥಿರ್ಯನ್ ನ ಸ್ತ್ರೀ ನ ಸಂಧೋ ನ ಪುಮಾನ್ ನ ಜಾಂತಹು ನ ಯಂ ಗುಣ ಕರ್ಮ ನ ಸನ್ ನ ಚಸನ್ ನಿಷೇಧಶೇಷೋ ಜಯಥಾದಶೇಷ ಜಿ ಜೀವಿ ಸೆ ನ ಹಮಿ ಹಾಮು ಕಿಂ ಅಥ ಬಹಿಶ್ಚಾವೇಥೇವ್ಯೋನ್ಯ ಇಚ್ಛಾಮಿ ಕಲೈನ ನ ಯಸ್ ವಿಪ್ಲಸ್ ತಜ್ಯತ್ಮಲೋಕಾಭವ ನೋಕ್ಷ ಸೌಹಂ ವಿಶ್ವಾಸ ವಿಶ್ವ ಅವಿಶ್ವನ್ ವಿಶ್ವೇರಸ ಪಿಸ್ವತ್ಮನನ್ಮ ಜಂಬ್ರಮ ಪನತಸ್ಮಿ ಪರಂ ಪರಂ ಯೋಗರಂಧಿತ ಕಾಮನೋ ಹೃದಯ ಯೋಗ ವಿಭಾವತಿ ಯೋಗಿನೋ ಯಂ ಪ್ರಪಶ್ಯಂತಿ ಯೋಗಿ ಸಂಥಂ ನಥೋಸ್ಮಿ ಅಹಂ ನಮೋ ನಮಸ್ತುಭ್ಯಮ ಸಹಯ ವೇಗ ಶಕ್ತಿತ್ರಯಖಿಲತಿಗುಣಯ ಪ್ರಪನ್ನ ಪಲಾಯದರಾಂತಶಕ್ತ ಕದಂದ್ರಯನ ಮನವಾಪ್ಯವಾತ್ಮನೆ ನಯಂ ವೀರ ಸ್ವಮತ್ಮನ ಯಕ್ತಿ ಅಹಂ ಧಿಯಾಹತ ತಮ ಧುರಚಯ ಮಹಾತ್ಮ್ಯಂ ಭಗವಂತ ಮಿಥೋಸ್ಮಿ ಅಹಂ ಹೇಮಂ ಸುಭಾಚನೆ ನಂಗ ಪ್ರತಿಭುಜನಿ ಸಾಚಯ Gajendra said, I for my respectful obeisances unto the Supreme Person Vasudev, Om Namo Bhagavati Vasudevaya, because of him this material body acts due to the presence of spirit. and he is there for the root cause of everyone he is worshipable for such exalted persons as brahma and shiva and he has entered the heart of every living being let me meditate upon him shrimad bhagavatam canto 8 chapter 3 text 2 ಯಸ್ಮನ್ನಿಧಂ ಯಥಾಶ್ಚೇದಂ ಯನೇದಂ ಯಾಯಿಂ ಸ್ವಯಂ ಯೋಸ್ಮತ್ಪರಸ್ಮಚ್ಚಾಪರಸ್ ತಂ ಪ್ರಪಾದ್ಯೇ ಸ್ವಯಂ ಭುವಂ The Supreme Godhead is the Supreme Platform on which everything rests, the ingredient by which everything has been produced. And the person who has created and is the only cause of this cosmic manifestation. Nonetheless, he is different from the cause and the result. I surrender unto him the Supreme Personality of Godhead, who is self-sufficient in everything. Canto 8, Chapter 3, Text 3. The Supreme Personality of Godhead, by expanding his own energy, keeps this cosmic manifestation visible and again sometimes renders it invisible. He is both a supreme cause and a supreme result, the observer and the witness in all circumstances. Thus he is transcendental to everything. May that Supreme Personality of Godhead give me protection. Canto 8, Chapter 3, Text 4. In due course of time, when all the causative and effective manifestations of the universe, including the planets and their directors and maintainers, are annihilated, there is a situation of dense darkness. Above this darkness, however, is the Supreme Personality of Godhead. I take shelter of His Lord's feet. Canto 8, Chapter 3, Text 5 An artist on stage being covered by attractive dresses and dancing with different movements is not understood by his audience. Similarly, the activities and features of the Supreme Artist cannot be understood even by the demigods or great sages, and certainly not by those who are unintelligent like animals. Neither the demigods and sages nor the un- unintelligent can understand uh, the features of a lord, nor can they express in words his actual position. May that Supreme Personality of Godhead give me protection. Canto 8, Chapter 3, Text 6. Renunciates and great sages who see all living beings equally, who are friendly to everyone, and who flawlessly practice in the forest the vows of Brahmacharya, celibate student, Vanaprastha, retired, and Sanyasa, renunciation, desire to see the auspicious lotus feet of the Supreme Personality of Godhead. May that same Supreme Personality of Godhead 
be my destination. Canto 8, Chapter 3, Text 7. The Supreme Personality of Godhead has no material birth, activities, name, form, qualities, or faults. To fulfill the purpose for which this material world is created and destroyed, he comes in the form of a human being like Lord Rama or Lord Krishna by his original internal potency. He has immense potency and in various forms, all free from material contamination, he acts wonderfully. He is therefore the Supreme Brahman. I offer my respects to him. Uh, Canto 8, Chapter 3, Text 8 to 9. Uh, I offer my respectful obeisances unto the Supreme Personality of Godhead, the self effulgent Super Soul, who is a witness in everyone's heart, who enlightens the individual soul, and who cannot be reached by exercises of the mind, words, or consciousness. Canto 8, Chapter 3, Text 10. The Supreme Personality of Godhead is realized by pure devotees who act in the transcendental existence of Bhakti Yoga. He is a bestower of uncontaminated happiness and is a master of the transcendental world. Therefore, I offer my respects unto him. Canto 8, Chapter 3, Text 11. I offer my respectful obeisances to Lord Vasudev, who is all pervading, to the Lord's fierce form as Lord Nishimadev, to the Lord's form as an animal, Lord Varahadev, to Lord Dattatreya, who preached in personalism, to Lord Buddha, and to all the other incarnations. I offer my respectful obeisances unto the Lord, who has no material qualities, but who accepts the three qualities of goodness, passion, and ignorance within this material world. I also offer my respectful obeisances unto the impersonal Raman Ephesians. Canto 8, Chapter 3, Text 12. I beg to offer my respectful obeisances unto you, who are the super soul, the superintendent of everything, and the witness of all that occurs. You are the supreme person, the original material nature, and of the total material energy. You are also the owner of the material body. Therefore, you are the supreme complete. I offer my respectful obeisances unto you. Canto 8, Chapter 3, uh, Text 13. My Lord, you are the observer of all the objectives of the senses. Without your mercy, there is no possibility of solving the problem of doubts. The material world is just like a shadow resembling you. You indeed... Uh, excuse me. My Lord, you are the observer of all the objectives of the senses. Without your mercy, there is no possibility of solving the problem of doubts. The material world is just like a shadow resembling you. Indeed, one accepts this material world as real, because it gives a glimpse of your existence. In Canto 8, Chapter 3, Text 14. My Lord, you are the cause of all causes, but you yourself have no causes. Therefore, you are the wonderful cause of everything. I offer my respectful obeisances unto you, who are the shelter of the Vedic knowledge contained in the Shastras, like the Pancharatras and Vedanta Sutra, which are your representations and who are the source of the Parampara system. Because it is you who can give liberation. You are the only shelter for all transcendentalists. Let me offer my respectful obeisances unto you. Canto 8, Chapter 3, Text 15. My Lord, as the fire in irony wood is covered, you and your limited knowledge are covered by the material modes of nature. Your mind, however, is not attentive to the activities of the modes of nature. Those who advance in spiritual knowledge are not subject to the regulated principles directed in the Vedic literature, because such an advanced souls excuse me, because such advanced souls are transcendental, you personally appear in their pure minds. Therefore I offer my respectful obeisances unto you. Canto eight, chapter three, text sixteen. Since an animal such as I excuse me, since an animal such as I hmm, has surrendered unto you who are supremely liberated, certainly you will, you will release me from this dangerous position. Certainly you will release me from this dangerous position. Indeed, being extremely merciful, uh, you incessantly try to deliver me. By your partial feature as Paramatma, you are situated in the hearts of all embodied beings. You are celebrated as direct transcendental knowledge, and you are unlimited. I offer my respectful obeisances unto you. The Supreme Personality of Godhead. Chapter 8, Text 3, Text 17. My Lord, 
those who are completely freed from material contamination always meditate upon you within the cores of their hearts. You are extremely difficult to attain for those like me, who are too attached to metal concoction, home, relatives, friends, money, servants, and assistants. You are the supreme personality of Godhead, uncontaminated by the modes of nature. You are the reservoir of all enlightenment, the supreme controller. I therefore offer my respectful obeisances unto you. Canto 8, Chapter 3, Text 18 After worshipping the Supreme Personality of Godhead, those who are interested in the four principles of religion, economic development, sense gratification, and liberation, obtain from Him what they desire. What then is to be said of other benedictions? Indeed, sometimes the Lord gives a spiritual body to such ambitious worshippers. May that Supreme Personality of Godhead who was unlimitedly merciful, bestow upon me the benediction of liberation from this present danger and from the materialistic way of life. Canto 8, Chapter 3, Text 19. Unalloyed devotees, who have no desire other than to serve the Lord, worship Him in full surrender, and always hear and chant about His activities, which are most wonderful and auspicious. Thus they always merge in an ocean of transcendental bliss. Such devotees never ask the Lord for any benediction. I, however, am in danger. Thus I pray to the Supreme Personality of Godhead, who is eternally existing, who is invisible, who is the Lord of all great personalities, such as Brahma, and who is available only by transcendental Bhakti Yoga. Being extremely subtle, he is beyond the reach of my senses and transcendental to all external realization. He is unlimited, he is the original cause, and he is completely full in everything. I offer my obeisances unto him. Canto 8, Chapter 3, Text 20 to 21. The Supreme Personality of Godhead creates his minor parts and parcels, the Jiva Tattva, beginning with Lord Brahma, the demigods, and the expansions of Vedic knowledge, Sama, Reg, Yaja, and the Tarva Vedas, and including all other living entities, moving and non moving with their different names and characteristics. As the sparks of a fire or the shining rays of the sun emanate from their source and merge into it again and again, the mind, the intelligence, the senses, the gross and subtle material bodies, and the continuous transformations of the different modes of nature all emanate from the Lord and again merge into Him. He is neither demigod nor demon, neither human nor bird nor beast. He is not woman, man, or neuter, nor is He an animal. He is not a material quality, a fruit of activity, a manifestation or non-manifestation. He is the last word in the discrimination of not this or not that. And he is unlimited. Our glory is to the Supreme Personality of Godhead. Canto 8, Chapter 3, Text 22 to 24. I do not wish to live any more after I am released from the attack of the crocodile. What is the use of an elephant's body covered externally and internally by ignorance? I simply desire eternal liberation from the covering of ignorance. That covering is not destroyed by the influence of time. Canto 8, Chapter 3, Text 25 Now fully desiring release from material life, I offer my respectful obeisances unto that Supreme Person who is the creator of the universe, who is himself the form of the universe, and who is nonetheless transcendental to this cosmic manifestation. He is the supreme knower of everything in this world, the super soul of the universe. He is the unborn, supremely situated Lord. I offer my respectful obeisances unto him. Canto 8, Chapter 3, Text 26. I offer my respectful obeisances unto the Supreme, the Super Soul, the Master of all mystic yoga, who is seen in the core of the heart by perfect mystics, when they are completely purified and freed from the reactions of fruit of activity by practicing bhakti yoga. Canto 8, Chapter 3, Text 27. My Lord, you are the maintainer of formidable strength in three kinds of energy. You appear as a reservoir of all sense pleasure and the protector of the surrendered souls. You possess unlimited energy, but you are unapproachable by those who are unable to control their senses. I offer my respectful obeisances unto you again and again. Canto 8, Chapter 3, Text 28. I offer my respectful obeisances unto the Supreme Personality of Godhead, by whose illusory energy the jiva, individual spirit soul, 
who is part and parcel of God, forgets his real identity because of the bodily concept of life. I take shelter of the Supreme Personality of Godhead, whose glories are difficult to understand. Canto 8, Chapter 3, Text 29. The Lord now replies to Gajendra, My dear devotee, and to those who rise in bed at the end of night and offer me the prayers offered by you, I give an eternal residence in the spiritual world at the end of their lives. Canto 8, Chapter 4, Text 25. Our glories to His Divine Grace, A.C. Bhaktivedanta Swami, Siddha Prabhupada, for making these transcendental narrations available to the world.